The last bout of the evening here in Baku, Azerbaijan at the Amateur World Boxing Championships in the men's welterweight division on Ring A is the Indian boxer in red, Krishan Vikas. Just 19 years of age. Up against a 23-year-old Vasily Belus of Moldova. Well, Belus knocked the number two seed out in his first preliminary match or bout and hasn't looked back since then. As for Vikas, the Indian boxer, interesting, taking the gold medal in the Asian Games in 2010, but in a lighter category. So, Vikas winning the Indian National Trials to earn his spot here for Belus. Uh, look at the graphic, speaks for yourselves. The boxer out of Moldova, national champion, a participant in the 2009 and 2007 Red World Red Championships. Red so we should give that a mark for an advantage to the boxer Red in the Red blue Red corner. Red this is the farthest that any of these two competitors have gone in World Championship competition in both their careers to date. Jones Kennedy from Brazil is our referee for this last bout of the evening. The Indian boxer Vikas is in the red corner. Belus from Moldova is in the blue. Trishan Vikas, like so many of the Indian boxers that we've watched at these World Championships. Speed, courageous, no time to hang around. Now, for Vasily Belus. <coughs> Easing his way into this bat. And there's a good combination. One, two, into the gloves rather than the head of the Indian. Covering up well, the Moldovan. Both boxes. Good work. One minute to go in this first round, evenly matched, like so many of these quarterfinals, particularly in this uh, welterweight division. try a few more shots to the body to Vikas and see if that has any effect on that guard dropping a little all shots to the head Hello. 
a little more like it. Good combination from Belus. Not getting through. Stop. But letting the his opponent know that he too has got the speed as well as a nice powerful Stop. jab. Stop. Two points all after the first round for both the Indian in the red and the boxer in the blue corner out of Moldova again massive cheers from the crowd for the final bout in at the B ring Azerbaijan in action once again some of these slow motion exchanges good strong punches but to the gloves not getting through the guard Well, you've heard it before, we'll say it again. Second round, this is the time to try and stamp your authority on this quarter-final in the men's welterweight division. Vikas, Krishan Vikas of India, boxing in the red. And Vasily Belus of Moldova in the blue. A warning from the referee to Vikas to keep that head up. Good couple of shots there from Vikas. Comes up well. Belus for the next attack. once again trying to open up the defense from uh, Vasily Belus in the blue happy to take his time the boxer out of Moldova need to keep their concentration here I think each frustrating the other oh. it's difficult to split the two in the second round as it was in the first and again an indication of how closely matched to wait boxers have been at these world championships the winner of this of course will meet Shelestuk from the Ukraine Kavaliaskos will meet Sapieyev in the other end of the draw in the semi-finals contested of course on Friday the 7th of October here in the Haydar Aliyev Sports Complex. There's the bell for the second round. And just by one point, Krishan Vikas takes the advantage. It's 
3-2. I think these were the punches and the combination punches that gave the Indian the majority of those points. One of those scenarios, isn't it, where you'd love to be a fly on the wall or just have a little microphone closer to the corner because it's intriguing to see and hear, or would be intriguing to see here, what the corner of Moldova have got to say. Five to four for Vikas of India in the red. A little bit of pressure now on Vasily Belus of Moldova if he's to earn his spot in the semi-finals of this welterweight division. Just not quite happy with how low the shorts are. The Brazilian referee soon puts that right. He's got to pick it up a bit, Vasily. The fast hitting style from the Indian that is slowly but surely earning him more points and winning over the judges' scoring. a good combination and how to lose has he got the Indian in trouble here finally he starts connecting with the punches no pulling of the arms oh, so unlucky with the right hand there not to make contact for loose but he senses he's just slowed down the Indian Connecting with two, possibly three punches in that last combination. And Vikas knows it and immediately tries to respond. Past the halfway point of this final round. his strength showing his stamina he's gone past and into the last minute now these exchanges are absolutely crucial to both boxers are on the back of the head warning from the referee Good body shot from Vikas. Again. Holding from Belus. Back of the head. The warning for Vikas. Indian boxer in the red. Moldova in the blue. seconds the countdown the cheer from the crowd is for the Azerbaijani boxer who's just run on ring B this one's got a few seconds left to go again and that's it very tight close match the question the combination in the beginning part of the round, was it good enough to level the scores? He needed to have won that round by at least two. Vasily Belus to go through the semi-finals. <laughs> Well, 
this is a long wait. Oh, it has gone to Vikas by one point. Grishan Vikas for India. Denies Belus of Moldova the chances of going to the semi-final. A good result for the Indian boxer. And that one point advantage that he earned in the second round held him on. They tied in the third round 4-4. The work in the second round has given Vikas the right of pass passage to the semi-finals. Great work from the Indian. Again, such a close, evenly matched bout. Just about all of these welterweight semi-final, quarter-finalists, excuse me, have been the same. Brave performances from all of the competitors. I'm sure you will agree with me that the highlight of this evening's cards was the knockout from Kavaluskas of uh, Lithuania putting poor Freddie Evans of Wales onto the canvas and he couldn't get up after the 10 count and Evans goes out and the Lithuanian goes through. It's been a cracking night's boxing here in Baku, Azerbaijan at the 16th World Amateur Boxing World Championships and the best is yet to come. Be sure to join us on Friday the 7th of October as the boxers take a well-earned rest tomorrow here in Baku before returning for the semis on Friday the 7th. Until then, I hope you've enjoyed the thrilling competition here in Baku this evening. Until semi-final day on Friday the 7th, thanks for your company. It's goodbye for now.